Should I get my real estate license in class or online? Hey, it's Jaime with Echo Real Estate Advisors. Welcome back to the channel that brings actionable content to help your business grow. Don't forget to subscribe as every month I give away one of my Facebook, Google, and YouTube courses away simply for being a subscriber. Okay, so you may be at the decision point of where should I get my real estate license? You may have made the decision, yes, I am going to get it. But now what? Now what? Do I go in a classroom, sign up for school, go to the classroom every single day or every single night, weekends, whatever it comes out to? Or do I purchase the course online and learn that way? That's a decision that's being made regularly by thousands of people. And also, from an agent's perspective, somebody that already has a license, you do have to do continuing education. So those CEs that need to occur, you make that same decision of, do I do that online or do I, or do, I do that in class? So it's a very real question that's being asked. So today, we're going to cover the pros and cons and really go into a categorical way of identifying which wins out, the online or the in-classroom. And then I'm going to give you what I would do if I were to start all over again. Okay, let's tackle the big one, cost. Which one wins out? Most of the time, the online courses are going to win out when it comes to cost. So the online version has a competitive edge over the in-class experience when it comes to cost. So if you're cost sensitive, as many of us are, the online version will be better for you. Now, let's talk about speed. That one, I'm going to have to do a toss-up because dependent on your habits, dependent on your flexibility, dependent on how much time you have, it can go one of two ways. Generally, and I'm going to generalize, as I said, generally, the in-classroom would win out because when you go to the classroom, well, you're there and you knock out all of these hours. So generally, you can get your classes done quicker in the in-classroom setting. Now, there are exceptions, but those exceptions involve you being in front of a computer for hours and hours and hours and or just speeding through the modules and not necessarily absorbing too much information. So I, it, this is more of a toss up, but I do have to give the in-classroom experience that win for now. Now, third, flexibility. The online courses win out in flexibility because you can turn on, as soon as you have a internet connection, you can turn on the computer or even on your phone, depending on the courses that you use or the schools that you use, and start going through the modules. Now, a lot of the modules, a lot of the learning is based off of reading. There are some video courses out there, but the reading is really the, I'm going to say most of the online schools are going to have you absorb the material in some sort of written fashion versus sitting in front of a computer like the, uh, if you've gotten your license online, uh, driver's license online, then there's a lot of videos that test your knowledge based off of your quizzes. Um, you do it that way, but generally the flexibility it is going to win out when it comes to the online version. Now, the fourth, uh, comprehension. That's very important. You're going into these, uh, you're trying to get your real estate license, but you're trying to learn as much as possible. You're not solely going after the certificate. Yes, some people are solely going for the certificate, certificate and relying on their brokerages to provide the actual learning, but you are going to school with the intention of learning, uh, and by proxy, you are getting that certificate at the end of the day. However, wouldn't it be very beneficial if you learned something along the way? So as far as comprehension and having that communication back and forth, I do have to give the in-class experience the edge on that. So that's another one for in-class winning out over online. Now, keep in mind, 
this is more of a generalization. So there are cases where the inline actually, I'm sorry, the online can actually win out, but those are very rare because there's a difference when you're in classroom and able to raise your hand and have that dialogue with your instructor and also have dialogue with your peers that are asking questions that you didn't even know were available to ask. Now, the networking component of it. Yes, there is networking in going to school. So the in-class setting actually wins out. Being able to meet peers that are going, that are somewhat uh, like-minded as they're in the, you're in the same classroom trying to, with the same objective, trying to get the same outcome, i.e. a real estate license, there is that network component. You get to meet instructors that have been doing it for years and years and years. You get presentations from brokerages coming in, trying to court you into their brokerage. You get presentation from lenders that are trying to establish a relationship or a working relationship with a new agent that they can re get business referred to. Then also title companies. So you get courted. You get fed very, very well with sponsored lunches. If you're um if you're going into the classroom setting, so on that one, I resoundly have to go on the networking side. I have to go with the with the in class settings. So those are different aspects and pros and cons of the online and in class setting. However, all of that, I say all of that to share that whatever the best way. For you to learn, and so however you learn better is ultimately the right answer. Right in the in the categories that we described today, if you tally them up, the in class makes more sense. If you just do base basically on those uh, categories that I selected, there's some other variables, there's some other things that I could add. But at the end of the day, those are some con strong considerations that make the in-class experience, the in-class learning better, if you will. But there, the, there's nothing wrong with the online version. At the end of the day, it's what's better for you. These are all in general forms in the ideal world, but we know that we're not always going to have that ideal setting, that ideal opportunity to do, to allocate eight hours out of the day to go in to real estate school or go and learn for uh, the amount of weeks that it takes to get your real estate license and then knock it out, which if you're pretty aggressive, it can be done within a month. So depending on your learning style, that's what I suggest that you would do. Now, if I were to do it all over again, I would go in, in class, I would go to school physically and learn that way, which, full disclosure, I kind of did do that, uh, not kind of, I did do that when I got my real estate license. So I went to school and knocked out an entire day's worth and the weekends and as many classes as I could so I could have enough credits to be able to test for the exam. Now, Again, if I were to do it all over again, I would not change that. I would go to the same school that I went to and even another school. I don't necessarily have an allegiance to a certain school, if you will. Going in class because I benefited so much, really in the networking world, because I still talk to some of the instructors that taught me. I still talk to a good amount of students that I had classes with. And then some lenders, some title companies, and the brokerages that I didn't even join the brokerage, but I do have that as part of my network. So the networking part was the biggest draw for me or the biggest benefit from me. Um, what drew me was the speed, meaning I could go and I would sit for the eight hours, I would sit for the entire day and learn as much as I could. And then that networking, me meeting other people and really having that communication with other peers and listening to their questions. And some people were more real estate knowledgeable than I was at that time. And they were asking high level questions that only a 
a, a pro, somebody that had been doing it for years and years would be able to help us address that. Now, if I was behind the computer screen and getting that type of information, um, getting the same type of information, I would not have had access to those types of questions. So if I had to do it all over again, yes, I would go into the in-class setting, but the difference being every time that I need to get a CE, I would do that online. So to this day, I'm getting, unless there's a very particular CE that I want that's physically being done in the, at the association or uh, at some title company or brokerage or uh, lender or lenders putting on a CE then th that I physically have to go, I'll go and do that. But as far as getting my continuing education credits, especially upon my renewal, which required 90 hours of courses, all of that would be done online and that's what I did. So as far as the CEs, I will continue doing that online because there's a lot more benefits for me now knowing what I know that time is a little bit uh, scarcer and I generally know what I'm doing at this point. The CEs serve more for a refresher at this point, serve more for changes in things that I learned in the past. So I already have the structure, I already have the fundamental and getting the CEs now online I don't, um, I don't feel like I'm losing out as much. And cost-wise, it is so much cheaper per credit hour to do it online than going in class. Now, the school that I used, I'll link it in the description below. They were super easy to work with. They really helped me out. I did have access to instructors whenever I needed help. It was a module, I just logged in. It was very reading intensive, so I did have to read, but I was able to knock out 90 hours within two weeks. That's That was just, one, that was my fault because I waited way too long before my renewal to actually uh, get my CEs uh, done in the those specific CEs that I needed to do. The renewal was proper, for the renewal license in Texas was property management, broker, and then marketing. Those were the um, the SAEs that I needed to do in order to renew my license. So I was able to knock those out really, relatively quickly. In two weeks, that was very, very manageable. And that wasn't all I was doing. Of course, I was going out and being a real estate agent. So I was able to benefit drastically with the cost, the flexibility, and really when it came to speed, I was able to knock it out relatively quickly. So again, that school is going to be in the description below. They're super easy. I could test via webcam, so I didn't have to go and have a proctored exam somewhere else. I was able to do that right in front of my computer screen, pretty much like this with the webcam set up, and I was off and running. So again, if I was to do it all over again, I would do my actual real estate license in classroom and do the continuing education online. Well, that's it, folks. That's the value I had for you today. Like, comment, share, and subscribe only if I earned it. Outside of that, keep calling your shot, keep pushing, and execute daily. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Feel free to check out some of the other videos in this channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video. Lastly, join our growing Facebook group full of content to help grow your business.